Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am sharing my summertime meal prep. Now, as many of you know, I like to keep it pretty simple when it comes to my meal prep by just choosing a handful of ingredients to prepare on the weekend that I can then use during the week to help me save time and keep things clean and delicious. Now, the first thing I always focus on are my veggies, and that's just because they take the most time to clean and prepare, and I find if I have them all done and ready to go, I'm much more likely to get my veggies in during the week. So here's what I do. I start with two big airtight containers. These are made by OXO or OXO, I'm not exactly sure how you say that. I will leave a link down in the description box below if any of you guys are on the lookout for big bins for your veggies. But what I like about these is they're nice and big, so there's plenty of room in there. They come with these airtight lids and they stack really easily on top of each other, so they slide right into the refrigerator. I like to line each container with a couple of paper towels because this helps to absorb any of the moisture that comes off the veggies, which ultimately helps those veggies last longer. So for my summer veggie bins, I have prepared some chopped up carrots. I just cut them into strips and some celery. Those are mandatory, the carrots and the celery, because my kids love snacking on those. I also have some mini Persian cucumbers that I wash dry completely and then leave whole, whole so they're ready to grab and go, and some radishes that I cut into quarters. Then in my other bin, I have some cauliflower that I cut into small florets. I also have some summer green beans, and I just trim the edges off of those, and some uh, cherry tomatoes. So this is my basic veggie bins, but I just tweak it to what looks good at the grocery store and to what's in season. So here are a few super simple ways that I would incorporate these veggies throughout the week. Idea number one are my cucumber, turkey, and hummus bites. Grab one of those Persian cucumbers that's all washed and ready to go, slice it into rounds, then I take a piece of organic turkey and I just pull it apart into little pieces so I can put a little slice on top of each round. And then I top that with a little dollop of hummus. Now you could use any hummus you want, but I love this beet hummus from Trader Joe's. Not only is it beautiful, but it has a bright, fresh, sweet flavor that is perfect for these warm summer days. Idea number two, radish and avocado rice cakes. So here I just grab a rice cake. You could use any rice cake that you like. Um, I mash up a half of an avocado and mix that with a little bit of salt and lemon. Then I pile that avocado on top of my rice cake. You might be able to get two rice cakes out of that. And then sprinkle on some chopped radishes, a little bit of salt, and some red pepper flakes. This is lovely as a light lunch. You could have it as a snack, and it even makes a great summer breakfast. And then my final idea is a super simple uh, green bean and tomato salad. All I do is grab a handful of my green beans, I cut them into about one inch pieces, and then I toss them into my handy dandy microwave steamer. I absolutely love this thing. Now, if you guys don't like the microwave, you can also steam these on the stove in a regular steamer. And if you do like the microwave, I will leave a link for this tool down in the description box below because I do think it is a huge time saver and if you're struggling with getting veggies in, this might be an option to consider. So I cook my green beans for a couple minutes in the microwave and then I add them into a bowl along with a handful of my cherry tomatoes that I've cut into quarters. Drizzle that with a little bit of balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, one clove of crushed garlic, season with salt, pepper, toss it all together and then I take a small chunk of creamy, tangy feta cheese and sprinkle it right over the top. And it's a super easy last minute salad that you could eat on its own or you could serve as a side dish. And then finally, especially in the summer, we will just snack on the veggies raw. I usually keep a few different flavors of hummus in the refrigerator. This week I have jalapeno, garlic, and the beet hummus. So we'll um, snack with the hummus. My son loves to eat his raw veggies with mustard. And my daughter, she's more of a vinegar, tangy kind of girl. So don't overlook just grabbing and going with these crunchy, refreshing snacks, especially in the summer months. Another ingredient I like to have on hand is some cooked quinoa. Now quinoa is technically a seed, so it cooks a lot faster than most other grains, and I also find it to be a lot lighter than other grains. So I really like it for the summer months especially. To cook it, you're just gonna do one part quinoa to two parts water. So I have one and a half cups of dried quinoa, and I am mixing that with three cups of water. Bring it all up to a boil, 
then reduce it down to a simmer, pop on a lid, and in about 15 minutes your quinoa will be done and ready to go. From there, just transfer it into an airtight container and keep it in the fridge. And a few different ways I might enjoy my quinoa during the week is number one, I'll make a peach yogurt and quinoa parfait. Take a little bit of plain Greek yogurt, top it with fresh chopped peaches, add in a quarter cup of the quinoa, and then top it with some cinnamon. Then if you like to sweeten it, you could also add a little bit of stevia or some honey, but I like mine just the way it is. And I prefer to leave it like this and scoop and eat, but if you are a mix it all together kind of gal or guy, mix it all together and enjoy. So my second idea are seaweed wraps with quinoa and veggies. This one is especially kid friendly because it's like build your own bites and that's exactly what these are guys. They're just a bite. You make it, you pop it, you make another one. So here's what I do. I take some of this roasted and salted seaweed and then I have my quinoa and I mix it with a little bit of coconut oil and then gomasio. And this is a Japanese seasoning and it's made with um, sesame seeds, garlic, and salt. That is it, and it is so delicious, stirred into rice or quinoa. So I mix that all together, and then I have a little bit of chopped up cucumber and avocado as well. So what you do is you make this pretty little assembly platter, then you take a seaweed wrap, you pile in a little bit of quinoa, couple strips of cucumber, piece of avocado, fold it in half, and pop it. And then you just make as many as you need to fill your belly. <laughs> So that's why it's kind of a fun meal to have because it's assembly only and you kind of snack and go and snack and go. Super kid friendly. And then my third and final idea is my kitchen sink quinoa salad. This is basically, I just take a big old scoop of my quinoa and mix it with a bunch of chopped up veggies from my crudite. So I just take the crunchy ones, chop them really fine, add them to the quinoa, give it a clove of crushed garlic, a nice big squish of fresh lemon juice, a little extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, then just stir this all together and it's a super fast, super fresh, easy, delicious quinoa salad that you could eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, literally. Sometimes I'll make something like this for breakfast and put an egg over the top, same for lunch. And for dinner, if I wanted to bulk it up, you could also add some beans or some olives or some avocado. I mean, the options truly are endless. And then last but not least, the third item I like to prepare, and I'm not really sure it's fair to say that I prepare this, but it's a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store. Especially in the summer when we don't wanna be turning on the ovens and we wanna keep it nice and easy and cool. I love buying a roasted chicken from the grocery store and then all I do is take it apart, deconstruct it, pull off the skin and the bones and save it in an airtight container. A couple ways I might enjoy this chicken are number one, a Waldorf, chicken salad served on apple rounds. So what I do is I take some of that chicken and I mix it with a few chopped walnuts, some chopped up celery, and just a few raisins. Give it a dollop of Greek yogurt, a little bit of salt and pepper, mix everything together. Then instead of adding the apples into the salad, I core the core out of an apple, slice it into rounds, and then lay the chicken salad right on the top. And then I like to just sprinkle a little bit of finely diced red onion over the top for color and for a little bit of crunchy edge. If you really like red onion, you could stir it all in throughout the salad or just a little kiss on top. These are super light, crunchy, refreshing, and perfect for the warm summer weather. And finally, one last idea for that rotisserie chicken are my barbecue spinach burritos. Now this one is super easy and quick to make and it is a family favorite. So what I do is I take some of that chopped chicken, heat it up in a nonstick saute pan. You don't need any oil or anything. You do it right in a dry pan. And I season it with a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a couple tablespoons of barbecue sauce. And you're just going to go until everything is heated through. Then I spoon that barbecue chicken onto a warm tortilla that I have lined with a little bit of spinach right down the middle. The chicken goes on top. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese over my chicken and then roll this up. Slice it in half, you could serve this with avocado, you could add some jalapenos, or you could just keep it simple the way it is. It's a really fast, convenient, absolutely delicious, clean and delicious lunch or dinner. So that is what I have for you guys today. A handful of super simple summertime meal prep ideas to help keep things clean and delicious in your very own 
kitchens. So now I want to hear from you. How do you guys keep it clean and delicious during the week in these hot summer months? Come on down to the comments below and let me know. And if you guys like this type of video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because that's how I know what you all want to be seeing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you all back here soon with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. So here are three super easy ways that I would use these veggies. Idea number one, 